So what exactly is a truss rod? Well, very basically speaking, a truss rod is a rod installed in the guitar neck with the intention of reinforcing it or stabilizing it. When we string up a guitar, we put a lot of attention on the strings. And in turn, the strings will put a lot of attention on the guitar neck. And the strings will want to pull the neck upward like this into an up bow or a forward bow. Now a little bit of a forward bow is okay, but when the neck establishes an excessive forward bow, we can have all sorts of problems such as high action or string buzz. And that's where the truss rod comes in. Now not all guitars have a truss rod. For example, concert guitars usually don't have a truss rod. But even though it's not that common, there are also a lot of uh, electric guitars and steel string acoustics out there that don't have a truss rod. However, most guitar necks are made out of wood, and wood is simply not always the most stable material. So a truss rod is a nice addition to a guitar neck. Now very basically speaking, there are two different kinds of truss rods. Adjustable truss rods and non-adjustable truss rods. A non-adjustable truss rod is basically a steel or a graphite rod installed in the guitar neck, and it does a good job at stabilizing it. However, it does not offer any easy way of adjusting any bow in the neck. So if a neck like that would establish an excessive forward bow or even a back bow, we'd have to put a lot more attention into that neck to get it nice and straight again. So that's where the adjustable truss rod comes in. Now again, very basically speaking, there are two kinds of adjustable truss rods. There's the single action truss rod and the dual action truss rod. The single action truss rod only acts in one direction, meaning that it will try to counteract the tension of the string. So it'll move the neck into a back bow or reduce the amount of forward bow. Now for most guitars, this offers more than enough adjustment to create a nice setup. However, even though it's not common, a uh, guitar neck, for various reasons, can create over time a back bow as well. And in that case, a single action truss rod will probably not be able to solve the problem. And that's why a lot of modern guitars will have a dual action truss rod. And a dual action truss rod acts in two directions. So we can reduce the amount of forward bow by moving it back like this. And we can also reduce the amount of back bow, if there is any. And this offers a very easy way of adjusting the guitar neck in both directions. So this is an unfinished guitar neck, and it's already got the truss rod installed. Now normally the fretboard would be glued on here, but this way it offers a good way of showing how the truss rod works. Now this particular truss rod is a dual action truss rod, and it's adjusted at the heel. Some truss rods are adjusted at the heel and some are adjusted at the nut. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this Allen wrench and I'm going to adjust the truss rod in two directions. First I'm going to tighten the truss rod. And we tighten the truss rod by moving the nut clockwise. When we tighten the truss rod, the truss rod will counteract the tension of the string. So it will move towards a back bow or reduce the amount of forward bow. So we expect the truss rod to kind of pop up in the middle here. Now I'm going to make some pretty large adjustments on the truss rod. Normally you wouldn't do this. Uh, very small adjustments will do the trick if you're adjusting a guitar. But just for demonstration purposes I'll make some pretty big adjustments. Alright, so now I'm going to be moving the truss rod clockwise. And you'll see that it will start to pop up in the middle. And there we go, we've got a nice back bow going on right now. Now of course if the fretboard would be glued on here, the entire neck would be moving towards a back bow. So now I'm going to move it back to the neutral position and you'll see that it is, is again nice and flat. Right, so now we're going to loosen the truss rod. Of course this is a dual action truss rod, so actually you're tightening it in both directions. But by loosening a truss rod, uh, we mean that we'll give the strings more space to pull the neck into a forward bow. So this time we expect the ends of the truss rod to pop up. So let's see how that works.
And you can clearly see here that the ends will pop up so it will move towards a forward bow. And that's how a truss rod works.